Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the past, the present, and the future when it comes to a love connection that continues to conflict you. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And as always, not each and every Gemini watching me is going to feel like this is their message, and that's okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Spirit, please talk to me about the recent past when it comes to Gemini and the energy that Gemini is dealing with. Talk to me about the recent past for Gemini and the energy that Gemini is dealing with. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about Gemini for the recent past and the person that Gemini is dealing with. Okay. Third party situation. Something could have irritated you here in the past. Could have been painful, hurt your feelings. Tell me more about. I feel like you and this person are not around each other. There are definitely some secrets or something that came to light when it comes to this person. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I have Scorpio energy and Pisces, but there's something that you found out about or you learned about when it comes to the connection with this person who is very arrogant and very selfish you've been noticing lately, right? So they were cool at the beginning, but now you're starting to see their true colors. Talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Talk to me about the present when it comes to this person that Gemini is dealing with. All right, so I feel like in the present moment, there's something that you feel like you want to say to this person. I feel like you want to communicate with them, with the Knight of Swords energy. Tell me more about how Gemini feels in reference to this connection in the present moment. Talk to me about the person that you're dealing with, please. Talk to me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. Okay. It's like they're not offering right now for some reason or they don't want to give to the situation. All right. They are stuck and involved in something else. Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like there's something that you found out about. Like you knew this person was shady or up to something that they wasn't supposed to be doing. It came out. Um, you want to say something to this person, you feel like you need to speak your mind on a situation in the present moment. This person has a lot of drama in their life, all right? They're stuck in something that they can't get out of, whatever that is, and they're not offering right now. Very moody person that you're dealing with, Gemini. All right, talk to me about the future when it comes to Gemini and the energy that they are dealing with. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Gemini. And the energy that Gemini is dealing with. All right. So you have the sun card in the future with Leo energy. And then we have this fire sign who continues to be in reverse. All right. So um, there's somebody who doesn't want to fight or put up a fight. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Gemini and this energy. Something is not ending with Capricorn energy showing up there in the future all right so now we're going to clarify so in the recent past i feel like you found out about something there's a third party energy we have a fire energy here aries leo sagittarius and then i have scorpio and pisces there's some sort of ending because of someone's behavior or there's something that you found out about clarify the moon in reverse there okay so i feel like Somebody here is stuck on a past connection or somebody from the past, Gemini, all right, is what I'm feeling. Tell me more about the Six of Cups energy. Who is this person from the past that Gemini's person could potentially be stuck on? Who is this person, Spirit? Okay, so it could be a Cancer, all right? They can't move on from somebody, all right? Who is it that they can't move on from here? 
all right? It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Somebody can't move on from an earth sign, which is why um, someone is not getting attention here in the recent past. Now, let's talk about the present. I feel like there's something that you want to say to this person that you want to communicate, right? But it's like all of a sudden they're not showing any love and they detached and they're appearing to be cold. Let's see what's going on with this person. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? The Queen of Swords. It's like they don't like what you said to them or how you came at them. All right. Tell me more. In the present moment, Emperor. This person likes to be in control and they don't like certain words that you say to them or how you express yourself. They don't want to be tied down is what I'm getting and they feel like you want things your way and um, this person is not in the energy of being monogamous you know what I'm saying like this is a promiscuous energy tell me more about the person that Gemini is dealing with in the present moment tell me more Yeah, this person is all up in their mind about this Libra or a Taurus here with the Empress energy. So it's like they can't stop thinking about this other person and you view them as inconsistent because, you know, somebody is stuck on somebody else. Now, this could be vice versa. It could be your energy or the energy of the other person. But I feel like somebody is stuck on an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn energy. Now, tell me more about the future with the sun. Why do we have the sun card in the future? Because I feel like you're going to drop this situation, all right, in the future. And you're not going to invest in someone who doesn't want to give to you, right? It's like they wanted to deal with you short term and you weren't looking for that. So, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel like you're just going to move on with your life. All right, yeah, you're dropping the drama, okay? But I still feel like you're going to be watching them, right, with the Page of Swords energy. If it doesn't feel right, you shouldn't be doing it, okay? Um, again, so thank you so much for all of your support. To book your private reading, all of that info is below. And take care.